Hey, what's going on YouTube? So as you know, it's best here. And this is a very quick video to show you how to download Windows 7 before it's officially released to the public later this year. So now it's a still release candidate phase, meaning it's one step past beta, but it's still in the testing phase so people can find bugs and stuff like that. So it's unlimited downloads to anybody to want to use it. Uh, you get a product key along with the download and you can use it for an entire year. So it's a pretty good deal. Uh, so I'm going to show you real quickly how to get it. Now for your internet browser, you don't want to use Safari because I'm going to show you why. Uh, for some reason they have safari blocked off so once you start to try to download it you just get this green circle of death here <laughs> so i don't know why microsoft blocked it off but they did uh, but you want to use firefox in an explorer so i have firefox running right now on my mac and you just want to type in in a google search box type in windows 7 TechNet. okay you should type in windows 7 TechNet, hit search and the first uh, link right there is the correct link to actually download Windows 7. Now I'll put the link here in the information box but this is a very quick way to explain somebody how to do it or do it yourself very quickly. So you click this and it's going to take you to the page and it's going to show you some information about Windows 7 also your minimum requirements in order to be able to use uh, Windows 7 on your computer which everybody should be able to hit. And now you're going to make the decision whether you want to use 32-bit or 64-bit Windows 7. Now, if you're using 32-bit right now, that's probably what you're going to want to use. Um, very rarely that you need to use 64-bit unless you're using 64-bit XP or Vista right now. So everybody probably um, probably just use 32-bit. Now you can choose English uh, for your language or whatever your language is. And now it's going to ask you to actually log into your Hotmail account. So Hotmail is a uh, not really the the hottest email client right now but uh so you want to try to remember your hotmail account just like i had to do and click in sign in and now it's going to take you to the page and actually it's going to show you your product key all right so this is your product key so when you start downloading windows 7 or uh, well, actually install in windows 7 this is what you'll use and it has some installation instructions out there if people need a little bit more help uh, but now you just want to hit download now and you want to trust and then you want to choose the location where you want your file to download to. I just got mine going to the desktop and boom, there it is. So here's my uh, where my file for my Windows 7 is going to eventually end up on my desktop. And so this, the file is about 2.36 gigabytes. So it's a pretty hefty file and it'll probably take a couple hours to download depending on your connection. Um, but once you download it, you can use a program on the Mac called Disk Utility um, to just... Um, uh, to just be able to install the image or the, the operating system image onto a blank DVD and then you can install it from there just like you would a regular CD. Um, so I'll probably make a video on how to do that very quickly, but this is a very quick video. Everybody should be able to get fine from this point on. I'm uh, just showing you how to get Windows 7, so I get a lot of questions every day, so hopefully this will answer it. And I thank everybody for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace.